What's up, guys? It's Jay, more than I have to kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2. And I got a nice little special video for you. It is an easy achievement, but I don't want to talk about the actual achievement because that's not really the big part of this. The big part of this is that Gearbox, a developer that made Borderlands and made a lot of money off Borderlands, showed that they have heart and showed that they have care when a guy named Carlo, he contacted Gearbox last October or November, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure it was November of 2011, that he contacted them and asked them to have Claptrap eulogize his buddy because his buddy died of cancer at the age of 22. Very, very sad story. And they actually did it. But then they went one step above and beyond and put Michael Mamoru into the game as an NPC. Not only as an NPC, but an achievement and he gives you a blue gun every time and he also has a chance of giving you a purple or orange even though it's very very slim it's underneath 0.05 percent that he will give you that but he might but i just think it's really nice to see a developer you know actually give back and care to the fans that contact them and something like this is actually a huge deal in the gaming community so I really want to thank Gearbox for doing that because that shows a lot of heart that you don't really see in an industry full of a lot of a uh, really soulless and faceless company. So yeah, you can find Michael Mamoru inside a sanctuary. He usually spawns in most of the popular spots uh, like Zed's or Marcus's, Claptrap's area. I found him in Scooters. Uh, he was also inside of Moxie's bar in one of my friend's worlds. Uh, and he also can be inside the courtyard next to the little stand where uh, Claptrap goes ahead and sells the bully mon fur. If you don't know about that, I got a video about that coming up. But yeah, I want to put this video up for you guys. Make sure you guys leave some type of nice little comment down there in memory of Michael Mamoru. Because, you know, it's really awesome to see a gaming company go ahead and you know, go above and beyond the Call of Duty. And not only eulogize the guy, but put him into the game and immortalize him forever. For his friends to see, too. That's uh, really cool. So, my name's Jay, more than after kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. See you guys later.